Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and over the past few days. This afternoon, Rear Admiral John Mauger will be providing an update on the most recent findings from ROV operations in search of the Titan submersible. He will provide a brief statement and provide the opportunity for questions after. Please limit your questions to one per outlet. Following the briefing, the Joint Information Center staff and I will be here to help you with any of your further needs. May I now please introduce Rear Admiral John Mauger. This morning, an ROV or remote operated vehicle from the vessel Horizon Arctic discovered the tail cone of the Titan submersible approximately 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic on the seafloor. The ROV subsequently found additional debris. In consultation with experts from within the Unified Command, the debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber. Upon this determination, we immediately notified the families. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. I can only imagine what this has been like for them, and I hope that this discovery provides some solace during this difficult time. Additionally, we've been in close contact with the British and French Consuls General to ensure that they are fully apprised and that their concerns are being addressed. The outpouring of support in this highly complex search operation has been robust and immensely appreciated. We are grateful for the rapid mobilization of experts on the undersea search and rescue, and we thank all of the agencies and personnel for their role in the response. We're also incredibly grateful for the full spectrum of international assistance that's been provided. The ROVs will remain on scene and continue to gather information. Again, our most heartfelt condolences go out to the loved ones of the crew. We'll now take questions. John, what other debris have you found? John, what other debris have you found? Can you talk about the delay in uh, reporting the vessel missing and what impact that had on the uh, recovery? This was a uh, incredibly uh, complex uh, case, uh, and we're still working to develop the details uh, for the timeline involved uh, with uh, this casualty and uh, the response. And so, James Matthews, James Matthews from Sky News. John, what other debris have you found, and have you found any trace of those who were on? So this is an incredibly complex uh, operating environment on the seafloor over two miles uh, beneath the surface. And so uh, the, the remote operating vehicle has been searching and it is highly capable. Uh, and we've been able to classify uh, parts of the uh, pressure chamber uh, for uh, the Titan submersible. Let me refer to uh, one of my uh, undersea experts here uh, Mr. Uh, Paul Hankin to talk about uh, the nature of some of the debris. Uh, thank you, Admiral. So, so essentially we found uh, five different major pieces of, of debris that uh, told us that it was the uh, remains of the Titan. The initial thing we found was the nose cone, which was outside of the pressure hull, um, we then found a large debris field. Within that large debris field, uh, we found the, f the front end bell of the pressure hull. Um, 
that was the first indication that um, there was a catastrophic event. Um, shortly thereafter, we found the a second smaller debris field. Within that debris field, uh, we found the the other end of the pressure hull, the the aft end bell, um, which was basically the. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.